Part 2 Australia's Democratic Beliefs, Rights and Liberties At the citizenship ceremony, you pledge that you share Australia's democratic beliefs and that you respect the rights and liberties of the people of Australia. Australia is a democracy. A democracy is a system of government in which citizens freely choose representatives to govern the country and make laws on their behalf. Australians believe in peace, respect, freedom and equality. An important part of being Australian is respecting other people's differences and choices, even if you don't agree with those choices. It is about treating people fairly and giving all Australians equal opportunities and freedoms, no matter where they come from, what their traditions are, or whether they are male or female. These democratic beliefs have shaped our country and culture and are a reason why so many people want to become Australian. It is therefore very important that you understand these democratic beliefs, and the rights and liberties that all Australian people respect. Our democratic beliefs Australia's system of government is a parliamentary democracy. This means that all Australians are involved in how the country is governed. The power of the government comes from the Australian people because Australian citizens regularly vote for people to represent them in Parliament. Only Parliament has the power to make and change the laws that govern the country. In a parliamentary democracy, the representatives in Parliament must answer to the people, through elections, for the decisions they make. Australia's laws are important for all people living in Australia. Australians recognize the value of laws in maintaining a peaceful and orderly society. All Australians have the right to be protected by Australia's laws. Everyone must obey Australia's laws. If they don't obey the law, they may be arrested by the police and have to go to court. All Australians are equal under the law and no person or group is above the law. This is called the rule of law. People who hold positions of power in the Australian community must obey Australia's laws. This includes government, community and religious leaders, as well as businesspeople and the police. We are proud to live in a peaceful country with a stable system of government. We believe that change should occur through discussion, peaceful persuasion and the democratic process. We reject violence as a way to change a person's mind or the law. People come to settle in Australia from countries all around the world. Many people have a different cultural heritage with different beliefs and traditions. In our democratic society, we are all free to follow and share these beliefs and traditions as long as they do not break Australian laws. We value this freedom and expect all Australians to treat each other with dignity and respect, regardless of their race, country of origin, gender, sexual preference, marital status, age, disability, heritage, culture, politics, wealth or religion. We value this mutual respect for the dignity of all people. In Australia, there is a spirit of mateship. This means we help and receive help from each other in times of need. A mate is often a friend, but can also be a total stranger. A mate might take a meal to an elderly neighbor, drive a friend to a medical appointment or visit someone who is lonely. Because of this spirit of mateship, many individual people and groups help others through voluntary community work. You can also be a volunteer. Volunteering can be very satisfying. It is also a great opportunity to share knowledge, learn new skills, and increase your sense of belonging to the Australian community. Our government also supports Australians in need through social security and other services. Our freedoms Freedom of speech allows people to say and write what they think and to discuss their ideas with others. Freedom of expression allows people to express their views through art, film, music and literature. In Australia, we are free to say and write what we think, privately or publicly, about any topic. However, we cannot harm others. We cannot make false allegations, encourage others to break the law or damage another person's reputation. There are laws to protect a person's good name against false information. It is against the law to try to make other people hate or act violently towards others because of their culture, ethnicity or background. We are free to meet with people in public or private places for social or political discussion. We can criticize the government, peacefully protest against government decisions and campaign to change laws. 
We must also respect other people's freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Newspapers, television and radio have the same freedom. Australians are free to join any legal organization, such as a political party, trade union, religious, cultural or social group. People can also decide not to join. Australians can gather with others to protest against a government action or an organization. However, all protests must be within the law. This means they must be peaceful, and must not injure any person or damage property. Australia has a Judeo-Christian heritage, and many Australians describe themselves as Christians. Australia has public holidays on Christian days such as Good Friday, Easter Sunday and Christmas Day. However, the government in Australia is secular. This means that there is no official national religion. People in Australia are free to follow any religion they choose, as long as its practices do not break Australian laws. In addition to Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, Hinduism, Judaism and many other religions are practiced freely in Australia. Australians are also free to not follow a religion. The government treats all citizens equally, whatever their religion or beliefs. This mix of religions contributes to making Australia a vibrant multicultural society. Most religions have rules, but these are not laws in Australia. For example, the process of divorce, including custody of children and property settlement, must follow laws passed by the Australian Parliament. All Australians have the right to be protected by these laws. Some religious or cultural practices, such as being married to more than one person at the same time, are against Australian law. Our equalities There are a number of laws in Australia that make sure a person is not treated differently to others because of their gender, race, disability or age. Men and women have equal rights in Australia. It is against the law to discriminate against a person because of their gender. Both men and women have the right to make their own independent choices about personal matters such as marriage, and are protected by the law from intimidation or violence. Both men and women have equal access to education and employment. Both men and women can vote and stand for parliament. Both men and women can join the Australian Defence Force and the police. Men and women are treated equally in courts of law. Australians do not believe in class distinctions in our society. Instead, we believe in a fair society, where everyone deserves a fair go. This means that what someone achieves in life should be a result of their hard work and talents, rather than their wealth or background. For example, a person should get a job or a promotion on the basis of their skills, ability and experience, not because of their background. Australia has many stories of new migrants who have become leaders in business, the professions, the arts, public service and sport through their hard work and talents. Responsibilities and privileges of Australian citizenship As a permanent resident of Australia, you have already enjoyed living in a free and democratic society. When you become an Australian citizen, you will have new responsibilities. You will also have a range of new benefits. As an Australian citizen you must, obey the law, vote in federal and state or territory elections, and in a referendum, defend Australia should the need arise, serve on a jury if called to do so. As an Australian citizen you have the right to, vote in federal and state or territory elections, and in a referendum. Apply for work in the Australian Public Service or in the Australian Defence Force. Seek election to Parliament. Apply for an Australian passport and re-enter Australia freely. Ask for consular assistance from an Australian official while overseas. Register children born overseas as Australian citizens by descent. Our representatives in government make laws to maintain an orderly, free and safe society and to protect our rights. All Australians must obey the laws made by the Australian Parliament, State and Territory Parliaments, and local government. More information about some important laws in Australia can be found in Part 3, Government and the Law in Australia. Voting is both an important right and responsibility for all Australian citizens. We vote for the people we want to represent us in Parliament. By doing this, we all have our say in how the country is governed and contribute to the future of Australia. As a citizen, you will vote regularly in federal and state or territory elections. 
Occasionally, you will vote in a referendum, which is a vote to change the Australian Constitution. More information about the Australian Constitution can be found in Part 3, Government and the Law in Australia. Australian citizens aged 18 years or over must register their name and address on the electoral roll. Once you are on the electoral roll, voting is compulsory for Australian citizens aged 18 years or over in federal and state or territory elections. Voting in local government elections is not compulsory in some states. While service in the Australian Defence Force is voluntary, should the need arise it is vital that all Australian citizens be committed to joining together to defend the nation and its way of life. Jury service is a responsibility for Australian citizens aged 18 years or over. A jury is a group of ordinary Australian men and women who listen to the evidence in a court case and decide if a person is guilty or not guilty. Any Australian who is on the electoral roll may be called to serve on a jury. Jury service helps to make sure that the court system is open and fair. Privileges If you are an Australian citizen, you can apply to join the Australian Public Service and work for the Australian Government, for example, in Centrelink, Medicare or the Australian Taxation Office. Australian citizens also have the right to apply for a career in the Australian Defence Force, the Army, Navy and Air Force. Australian citizens aged 18 years or over can seek election to Parliament at the federal, state or territory level. It is both an honour and a serious responsibility to serve in an Australian Parliament. When you become an Australian citizen, you have the right to live freely in Australia. You have the right to apply for an Australian passport. As an Australian citizen, you are free to travel overseas and return to Australia. You do not need a visa to come back to Australia. In many countries, Australia has an embassy, high commission or consulate. While you are overseas, you can ask for help from an official in times of need. This includes emergencies such as civil unrest and natural disasters. Officials can also issue emergency passports and provide advice and support in the case of an accident, serious illness or death. When in another country, you must obey the laws of that country. Australian citizens may have children born overseas. They can register their children as Australian citizens. The children then have the same rights and responsibilities of citizenship as children born in Australia. Australia encourages all citizens to participate in society. Citizens who participate in society contribute to Australia in many ways. You can join neighbourhood and local communities. You can volunteer to do social and community work. You can join an arts or cultural organisation. You can also actively participate in political life. Paying tax is another important way you directly contribute to the Australian community. Tax is paid out of the money you earn, whether it's from a job, a business or investments. Many of the benefits that Australians enjoy are made possible through taxes. Taxes are spent on services which include health, education, defence, roads and railways, and social security. By working and paying taxes, you can support the government to provide these important services to the Australian community. These services help make Australia the peaceful and prosperous country it is today. State and territory governments and local councils also collect taxes to pay for services. Paying tax is required by law. Tax is collected by the Australian Taxation Office, AUTO, from both businesses and individuals. The AUTO works to ensure all citizens are aware of their tax rights and obligations to pay the correct amount of tax. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to our channel and watch the other videos in this series.